Well, the COVID-19 restrictions, there's no doubt that real estate is different now than it's ever been in the past. That doesn't mean we can't continue to buy and sell houses as long as we're in the hands of people who are comfortable, not only with the issues of COVID-19, but as well the neighborhoods that you're interested in. I've got Tiffany Howard and Lisa Ann here with us from Florida Real Estate Endeavors to talk about some of the things that uh, you might expect when you're out house shopping now. Ladies, welcome to the program. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Pleasure. So, Tiffany, in days gone by, someone would call you up and say, Tiff, I'd love to look at a home in Orange Park. I'm going to come by your office, jump in your car, drive me around and show me properties. My sense is we're not doing that today. It's definitely been some changes, as everyone has experienced changes all over the place. Um, more meeting in the houses, uh, lots of sanitation, wiping things down. Some people are wearing masks if they're comfortable, uh, and a lot of um, requests to see vacant homes. How about in a virtual sense? How much time are you able to spend with a person even before they come in the office between Zoom and virtual tours to really narrow down precisely what they want so that what they show that what you show them is just about perfect? <clears throat> yes, uh, I've always done at least an hour um, consultation with any prospective new customer, whether they're buying or selling, and we're doing those online. I've done a lot of Zoom meetings, uh, go to meetings, and FaceTimes, and FaceTime showings, in fact, you know, if they don't want to come to the house. And if once they make the decision to, yes, this looks like the right home, we've got them all pre qualified, going to the home, no longer are they, they jumping in the back of your Bentley. You're driving independently. <laughs> we are driving independently. You like the thought about the Bentley? I'm thinking about it. I used to live in Atlanta right down the street from the dealership. So yeah, that would look saw good. a lot of those. <laughs> Lisa Ann, being a, an expert out in Ponte Vedra, how are you seeing this, uh, these restrictions in Ponte Vedra? What, what's different for you in showing and listing homes? Well, I think, first of all, the, the getting in your car has stopped even before that. I think a lot of people are more comfortable getting in their own car and meeting at the homes. This way it gives them the opportunity to see the neighborhood, see where they're going to be near. So that makes a big difference as well. Um, and I try to get there first so that the house is ready and we do what we're supposed to do as far as sanitizing it and asking them not to touch anything um, and offering the mask and definitely taking off the shoes and leaving them outside. Um, but other than that, people are still shopping. They need a place to live. Sure. So uh, we just did a closing um, the end of the month, last month. And so people are still out there looking. I think with being more with the online, the Zoom, and the video rather than just the pictures, that actually helps a lot because they can spend more time on that and they can see it. On the listing side, you know, I, I've been reading, don't know that it's true that there is a shortage of inventory. There are fewer houses on the market and those on the market are going pretty quick. Does that mean if I'm thinking about selling, if I've been pondering it, now is a great time to get a, a fairly rapid sale? Yes, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> April and May are always the best months to list your house in this market, period. COVID or no COVID. Are you seeing things sell now with fewer contingencies? Are buyers recognizing there are fewer houses, they're moving quick, and those contingencies, maybe they weren't as important as they were before? Buyers are always asking for contingencies, for sure. Uh, so a little bit, maybe in some houses. It would depend on the house. If, if there's a neighborhood that's highly sought after and there's only a couple of listings, that would probably apply. I'm seeing the record low mortgages, often under 3%. Are the qualifications to get a mortgage at these newer and greater and lower rates, is qualifying getting tougher? I don't think so. I it is. Noticed. Yeah. The, especially the government-backed loans. Uh, FHA has raised the credit score requirements. Um, some loans are taking a lot long, longer to get done. Um, but cash and conventional are still moving. You know, Some of the lenders are backed up. They're taking longer. But... Um, they, they have come in a little bit on the uh, qualifications like we saw after the last recession. Right, right. Well, hopefully that'll loosen again shortly and get things going. I well, for folks who'd like to sit down and have a conversation with you, Lisa, about buying or selling in Ponte Vedra or, or you, Tiffany, and buying and selling in Orange Park or anywhere for that matter, what's the website? What's the best way for someone to reach out to you? Um, you can reach us at uh, www.flahomepro.com. 
and um, we would love to help you. I want to thank the ladies for being with us. It is a different time, though, in the hands of an expert who knows your neighborhood, knows the nuances of the COVID-19 restrictions, it's fairly simple to list and sell real estate.